Um, dear faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates, good afternoon. I'm Shazia Javed from the Faculty of Computer Science. Today I stand here to share my views on academics at the University of Tartu, the little wisdom I have gained in this one and a half year, and the warm wishes for the class of 2012. Thank you for making me eligible and giving me the opportunity to speak my mind and express my gratitude. Without the support of you all, I wouldn't have been here. Thank you very much. I was thrilled when I was given the chance to say my mind as a reward to relentless hard work. It seemed like a piece of cake until 10 a.m. in the morning today when I had absolutely no idea what to say. I have only two stories to share. My mother kept telling me the first story throughout my academic life since high school. The first story talks about a boy who was watching his grandmother write a letter. At one point he asked, are you writing a story about what we have done? It is, is it a story about me? His grandmother stopped writing her letter and said to the grandson, I'm writing about you, actually, but more important than the words is the pencil I'm using. I hope you will be like this pencil when you grow up. Intrigued, the boy looked at the pencil and it didn't seem very special, but it's just like any other pencil I have ever seen, he said. That depends on how you look at things. It has five qualities, which if you manage to hang on them, will make you a person who is always at peace with the world. First quality, you are capable of great things, but you must never forget that there is a hand guiding your steps. We call that hand God, and he always guides us according to his will. Second quality, now and then I have to stop writing and use a sharpener that makes the pencil suffer a little, but afterwards it's more sharper. So you too must learn to bear certain pains and sorrows because this will make, uh, make you a better person. Third quality, the pencil always allows you to use an eraser to rub out any mistakes. This means that correcting something we did is not necessarily a bad thing. It helps, you to, keep, uh, it helps to keep us on the road to justice. Fourth quality, what really matters is in a pencil is not its wooden exterior, but the graphite inside. So always pay attention to what is happening inside you. Finally, the pencil fifth quality, it always leaves a mark. In just the same way, you should know that everything you do in life will leave a mark. So try to be conscious of that in your every action. These five points are the message for all of us, the people of understanding. The second story is more of an outcome of a reflection on how I proceeded with the daunting task of finishing my graduate studies with my own batch. Based on my experience, the only message that I would like to give to my class fellows who will join us to graduate soon is choose your battles wisely. You cannot fight them all. Once you have decided on the battle you want to pursue, enjoy the process. It's the process that matters, not the outcomes. There's very well known uh, there's a very well known story of a young Zen student. He asked his master that if he works hard, how long would it take him to achieve Zen? The master answered, 10 years. The student asked, if I work harder, how long would it take uh, take me to achieve Zen. The master pondered over the question and replied, 20 years. The student, being very keen on achieving his goal, asked again that if he works really, really hard, how long would it take him to achieve Zen? The master responded, 30 years. The student, who was very perplexed with his master's replies, posed yet another question. I do not understand. You tell me that the harder I will work, the longer it will take. The master said, when you have one eye on the goal, you have only one eye on the path, so enjoy the process. Last but not the least, while you enjoy the process, plant the seeds of dedication, passion, and honesty within you. Refuse to stand by anything which does not reflect you. And always remember that the length of shadow is not always equal to the height of the person. In the end, I would like to say that the University of Sartu has prepared us uh, prepared us enough for the real world. And now that we are leaving the protected world for real challenges, I just have one uh, quote from Alama Iqbal. He's a very well-known poet 
फ्राम द ईस्ट ही सेज तुंदिए बाद मुखालिफ से ना घबरा आए हो का ये तो चलती है तुझे ऊंचा उड़ाने के लिए विच मीन्स ओ ईगल डू नॉट गेट इंटीमिडेटेड बाय द अपोजिंग विंस द ब्लॉ द टू मेक यू फ्लाई इवन हायर फ्लाई हायर क्लास ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व यू हैव गॉट द विंग्स मैनी कंग्रेचुलेशन एंड मैनी कंग्रेचुलेशन टू द फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स ऑन फिनिशिंग गेट एनदर टर्म ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग प्रोग्राम सक्सेसफुली एंड साइंसिस इन जनरल आई एम हाईली इन डेट to professor marlon dumas for his constant support and encouragement that allowed me to dream and realize my aspirations professor ulrich norbestrat for his patience guidance and faith in my abilities professor ramondas for uh, making me step out of my comfort zone and to all of uh, all of the other faculty members and the university staff family and friends for uh, always being there thank you very much